Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Live at 555. We are in Revelation chapter 3, uh, looking at the seventh and final church that Jesus writes a letter to here in Revelation chapters 2 and 3. Revelation chapter 3, verses 14 through 16, we'll look at this first section. Jesus writes to what's oftenly called the lukewarm church. And he says, To the angel of the church of Laodicea write, these things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know your works, that you're neither cold nor hot. I could wish that you were cold or hot. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. This is one of those churches that Jesus has nothing good to say about. It's the, uh, it's the lukewarm church. And as Jesus is writing to this church of Laodicea, he says unto the angel, the messenger of the church of Laodicea, these things says the Amen, how Jesus describes himself. He's the Amen, he's the faithful and true witness, and he's the beginning of the creation of God. Now, that doesn't mean that Jesus is the first of God's creation. That means that Jesus was in the beginning at the creation. He's the one who created it all. We would say so he was in the beginning uh, at the creation he says in verse 15 as he's telling this church just like he says to every single one of them he says i know your works jesus just lets them know just like he's already let all the other six churches know i know what you've been up to i'm aware of what you've been doing and he says this that you are neither cold nor hot now this is actually significant for the church of uh, Laodicea because they're in that region in uh, Asia Minor they had a, a hot springs that would flow into a river so you would have this hot water that would flow down this way you'd have this cold water that would come down this way and the two would would meet and flow into a, a main source of water so he's using an example geographically to deal with Laodicea's spiritual state and he says I know your works that you're neither cold nor hot I could wish that you were cold or hot man you're not cold and you're not hot and it's been said this way Christians are like coffee they should either be cold or they should be hot <laughs> I actually don't like hot drinks at all I think it's a sin actually to drink hot drinks kind of joking but not really it's just gross I don't know why people drink hot anything. Uh, I like cold coffee. I like iced tea. I like iced coffee. I do not like hot stuff. I like cold apple cider. But anything that's hot to drink, it just does not seem natural to me. So Jesus says, hey, you're not cold. You're not hot. Verse 16, he says, so then, because you're not cold or hot, what you are is you're lukewarm. You're neither cold nor hot. He says, I'm going to vomit you out of my mouth. Wow, that's pretty descriptive, Jesus. Man, tell us how you really feel. He tells this church, here's the deal. Because you're not hot, because you're not cold, you're actually lukewarm. And Jesus says, you make me want to spit you right out of my mouth. Have you ever went to take a drink of something? Maybe, you, maybe you're a coffee lover and you're expecting your coffee to still be hot and you take a big old drink of it and it's room temperature and it's just like throws you off guard. Or expecting a nice ice cold drink and you, you drink it. You go to drink out of a garden hose maybe that's sitting there. You turn it on, you put it up to your mouth and it's just like lukewarm and you're just like spit it out real quick. Jesus says, that's how this church is to me. Jesus tells this church in Laodicea, I want to vomit you out. He tells this church, you give me the urge to regurge. <laughs> Y'all are giving me the urge to regurge because you're not hot or cold. You're lukewarm. You're fence sitters. You can't decide. You want to be cold? You want to be hot? Ah, uh, we want to just kind of sit on the fence. Jesus says, pick a side. Because you've given me the urge to regurge right now. Just like maybe uh, your kids look at each other. Or when you were younger, you would look at your siblings and, and, and you would think that they were gross. And you'd be like, oh. That's what Jesus says to this church in Laodicea. He looks at their lukewarmness. He looks at their neither hot nor coldness. And he, he goes, he goes, you give me the urge to regurgitate. You make me want to vomit. Now, here's the thing that we learn about 
hot and coldness and lukewarmness. The, um, the second law of thermodynamics teaches us that a closed system runs out of energy, meaning that um, in the summertime here in Salmon, say um, you have something that water flows into, yet water doesn't flow out of it. It's a closed system. Water flows into it, but it doesn't flow out, and it kind of stagnates. That water, you could, have, you could have cold water flow into it, but because that water's not flowing through, it's not moving, it's a closed system, it's just going to sit there, it's going to become lukewarm. In the same way, uh, in the colder seasons, if you have warm water that stops flowing, it gets stopped up. That energy that's making it warm isn't going to continue through, and it's going to be able to cool down. So, a closed system loses its energy. Uh, this is true with um, the Dead Sea over in uh, Israel. If, uh, you have uh, water that flows through from the Jordan River, but it's stopped up at the Dead Sea. So Jesus tells this church, he says, I wish you were either hot or cold, but you're not. You're lukewarm. You're stopped up. Your, your system has been closed. Stuff's not flowing through like it ought to be. And it's important for us in our Christian life to not have a closed system. We, we should have a flow system, not a closed system. We should have what's coming through able to flow out. And um, essentially, the problem that this church of Laodicea has, the reason why they're lukewarm and not hot or cold is because they're stopped up. And this will be a little graphic maybe, but I hope you'll get the picture. Uh, essentially, they're spiritually constipated, Jesus says here. You're, 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 you, you got stuff flowing in. But nothing's coming out, Jesus says. And I don't like that. He says, you, you, need to, you need to allow stuff to flow through. And that's so important for us as Christians. That we be receiving as Christians. That we read God's word. That we study God's word. That we go to church. That we worship. That we do all this stuff to receive. But if all we do is receive and nothing's flowing out of our lives spiritually, then we too will be described as lukewarm. You see, we need stuff to be flowing in. We need stuff to be flowing out. We want to have an open circuit system. We want stuff to flow through our lives. We want to be like a conduit for truth, for God's word. But if all we do is just consume, and we're not actually producing if all we do is just bring it in but nothing is flowing out from us we're going to become lukewarm like this church of laodicea we're going to give jesus the urge to regurge just like this church did to him because he says what's the point what's the point of you learning what's the point of you reading my word what's the point of you worshiping and being filled up spiritually if you're not going to pour into other people. So Jesus says, man, I, I, I want you guys to be flowing. I, I want you to receive and I want you to give what you've received. Freely you've received, freely give, he told his disciples there in John chapter 15. And that's what we should be doing as well. So the way to avoid lukewarmness, the way to either be hot or cold, to avoid that lukewarmness that Jesus is not a fan of, that makes him sick, he says, that makes him want to vomit, that gives him the urge to regurge. The way to avoid that is to uh, have a flow in your life, to have stuff come in your life, yes, but to have stuff come out of your life as well, to be pouring into other people, to be sharing whatever, your kids, your neighbor's kids, right? Uh, your whatever, your spouse, coworkers, uh, people that sit next to you at church, encouraging them, all these different things. We want to be allowing the truth of God that's in us to come out of us. And that's what Jesus is telling this church here. That's what the church of Laodicea was guilty of. They're, 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 um, they're, we could call them they're fat Christians. They're consuming a lot, but they're not, they're not using it. And Jesus says, I don't like that. 
He says, that's not really what, I, what I'm a fan of. Tomorrow, we'll get into a little bit more of their spiritual state. We're going to see that they've got a whole bunch physically, but they're lacking spiritually. They've got a lot of stuff, but they, they're missing the point. And uh, it's, it's a, good, uh, a good thing we're going to look at. But today, today, we realize Jesus, he tells this church, man, I wish you were hot or cold. I wish you would just pick. But the problem is you're lukewarm. And the reason why you're lukewarm is because you're a closed circuit system. You're not allowing my truth to flow forth out of you. And we as Christians need God's truth to be flowing forth out of us. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for today. And Lord, just be with us this Monday, um, God. And I pray that we would uh, continue to receive from you, God, your word, truth, all this stuff. Uh, Lord, that we would have uh, your uh, truth flow into our lives. But Lord, that we would also have it flow out of our lives. Lord, as we are given opportunities to share with others and to encourage others, Lord, so that we would not be lukewarm. God, that we would be hot or cold as we have uh, stuff just flowing through our lives, uh, Lord, uh, so that we, like the Church of Laodicea, would not give you the urge to regurge, Lord, the, uh, that you wouldn't look at us and say that we make you sick, Lord, that you want to vomit, but Lord, that we would just be doing what you've called us to do. So God, thank you for today. Uh, Lord, today we've got uh, Ryan Reese and the whosoever's coming in down to the skate park at 430 for the outreach, and we just want to pray for that, Lord, that a lot of people would show up and that, uh, Lord, we would see the gospel shared and people would be encouraged. And, Lord, tonight at 7, as we uh, have uh, Sonny Sanderval here as well, uh, Lord, that everything would just uh, uh, be good today. Lord, that you would bring the people out that uh, need to come out. So, God, just go before us today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. hope you guys have a great uh, Monday. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow as we probably finish up. Revelation chapter 3 in these seven letters to the seven churches. So Laodicea, a church that Jesus doesn't have much to, uh, good to say about because they are lukewarm. They're neither hot nor cold because they're a closed circuit system. So have a great day.